<clears throat> Hi there. Hmm. How are y'all all doing? Well, it's back to being hot again in the Bay Area. It's warm today, but I've got the windows open. It's cooling off. It's cooling off. Hmm. Yeah. Hello. I'll wait just a little bit longer to get started. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Yeah, I haven't played that much Doom lately. Just haven't been in much of a Doom... in much of a Doom state. I was playing that No Man's Sky update. And, um... Yeah, and I finally released the Master Levels Deluxe project. That was good to. It was good to get out there. I'd been working on that for off and on for a long time. The, the last couple of months was just getting that little readme type thing done. But uh, yeah, it's good to have that off my plate. Well, yeah, welcome everybody. It's good to see you all again. Um, yeah, let's play some random Doom levels. It is Wad Wednesday. We are already halfway through October, huh? All right. Let's begin. Uh, Schmoland Doom for Doom 2. New deathmatch levels for maps 1, 2, and 3. New music. Stooges theme, Indiana Jones, and a Michael Wathius tune, and Axel F., um, so I noticed that these aren't in the deathmatch folder. These are just in levels Doom to uh, Schmoland. Uh, so yeah, I'm assuming that these were created as deathmatch levels, but because the, but they have some sort of single player support. So I don't know. I'm always a little divided about whether to jump into these because it might just be a completely half-assed, you know fistful of monsters just thrown in randomly, but I don't know, maybe it's a cool level. Uh, yeah, it's worth a look. Schmoland for Doom... Schmoland Doom for Doom 2 this is from March of 1996. And, uh, yeah. Okay. We got a little custom doodled, uh... little title screen here. Really something. Um, I think my gamma might be turned up. Yeah. And sure enough, as promised, we are getting that Indiana Jones music. Uh, this looks. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, and this does definitely seem like a deathmatch level sort of thing. Hold on, I think I'm, the, the sound effects aren't quite coming through. Maybe you can drill it out. Maybe you can drill it out with it. Maybe you can drill it out with it. I don't know what this voice clip is from. Alright, so the Sporps is back here. It plays a three stages sound when you teleport. That's that's very important. Yeah, let me uh everybody's heard the NA of the Jones music before. Maybe you can do it. 
It's a very percussive uh, Maybe you can drill it out with this. Alright. He loves the Three Stooges. is considered a very low form of humor. On the other hand, I am laughing. No, this is a bad situation in here. It does it does kinda work to have the lost souls be cast as goofy bumbling stooges. That's pretty good. These guys aren't, uh... These guys aren't PhDs of English literature or mathematics, let's just say. Or maybe they are. Maybe they are, and they just laugh weird. the exit. Yeah, it's just kind of there for the there for the taken. Okay, that opens that up. Maybe you can drill it out with this. Okay, that's just a normal door. Maybe you can drill it out with this. Maybe you can drill it out with this. I always wonder, you know, did this author digitize the Three Stooges sound effects themselves? Or did they just find it on some early web page kind of thing? Did they download some AU files or whatever? Maybe, maybe you can drill it out with this. Usually I assume that they found it somewhere just because wave files were the kind of thing that were just sort of traded around <laughs> on the internet. But maybe um, you can drill it out with this. I don't know. Alright. Talk to monsters and this definitely has 94 map aesthetics and so forth. Uneven room shapes and misaligned textures. It seems like they might be a little not popular. Start attacking you. I'm guessing that's an entirely accidental thing, but it's kind of a you know, this works as a as a gameplay mechanic. Oh, okay, we came around here. Yeah, that's probably about it, huh? Okay, I guess there's like one door back here. strongly inspired to uh, to carry
carry on deeper into this, but... Seems like it's the it's the extent it's the extents of this map, but did I go in here? Hmm. monsters were. I'm kind of guessing this is going to be more of the same, but... Maybe you can drill it out with this. Maybe you can drill it out with this. Maybe you can drill it out so with this. This is the large blood cage with plasma guns. Am I just stuck here now, though? No, I'm not. Yeah, that's a good point. That was a red key door, but we didn't... I don't think we found the red key. Who knows? This all feels sort of... Maybe, maybe you can Invulnerability, and yeah, it kind of seems like this is just a big, just a big outdoor arena. Hmm. It's a big, it's a big space. Okay, so that's where we started. Maybe you can drill it out with this. Maybe you can do it. Maybe you can do it. Oh, look at that. Getting crunched. Alright, so that's the danger of the BFG area. Okay, yeah, and there's just this entire massive outer ring that doesn't have much going on. You know, I think, like. I think it would be really uh, really obvious to maybe, call maybe, this maybe, 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 low maybe, effort. Maybe, 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 but, um, and, and I think that's true. Um, but I think, oh, what the heck. Hmm. All right, am I just locked in here? Nope. Well, um... Yeah, like this is this is low effort in a way, but you know when you think of a, of these deathmatch arenas as just like something that somebody makes in a group of friends that every that everyone in their friends group can play around in, you know. So it's almost like maybe you can drill it out with this. You know, if you could make a basketball court for your neighborhood group of friends to play on you know it has that kind of a feeling and the fact that it's not like you know this NBA quality little thing doesn't matter and the fact that none of y'all play basketball at an NBA sort of skill level doesn't really matter you know because it's basically just about this sort of you know it's to provide a space for the social experience to happen in um that's kind of what I imagine. I mean, you know, who knows? Like, uh, but that's sort of what I imagine is like the the context for for the creation of these kinds of of these kinds of levels. Um, you know, and that's kind of neat. You know, um, I don't know. Maybe that's just a totally invented narrative on my part. 
Um, yeah, I don't think there is an exit here, so I'm going to bow out. Like, I'm assuming that the third map is, is more the same, and I think we got the idea. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it sure did have three Stooges and Indiana Jones stuff going on in there. Um, all right, that was Schmoland Doom for Doom 2. Uh, the author is was George Doodlepuff, mayor of Schmoland. You know, that's that's fine. Yeah, everybody has, uh, like, again, that's just another little window into whatever little multiplayer group this was part of or whatever. Um, and, yeah, who knows how many people have, have played it since then. Yeah, that's something where I, I do wish that GZ Doom would hurry up and get its like client server multiplayer because I would love for Wad Wednesday to become a multiplayer where appropriate sort of activity where you know folks can jump into the server and we can all be running around in that kind of a level where it becomes a lot more of a substantive experience. Um, until then, we'll have our weird little runs through strange single-player maps like that. All right, next one. Hexran by Ranma. Ragnarok Doom. So wait, this is in the Hexen levels thing. Uh, this is Hexen map one and map two. Best with mage. All right, I'll note that. Play this as a play this as the mage. Uh, this known bugs. Yep, <laughs> the stupid script file messes up in the last level. It won't hurt nothing. I'll fix it. <laughs> 1996. I wonder if a fix for this was ever released, or maybe we're playing the fixed version. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, you know what the heck? It's two levels. It's Hexen. There might be some classic Raven Switch Hunt gameplay, but you know, either way, we'll we'll get through it. Um, and yeah, this is Ranma. I assume that's maybe like the the manga. Um, Rumiko Takahashi. Yeah, it's been. I don't know. Yeah, I read a little bit of that manga like back like in the 90s I guess um, yeah all right let's let's check it out yeah hexron hex it all right and yeah let's be the mage let's be this rogue lord skill level oh that's right the, 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 the difficulty levels are customized for each character class well I'm just a sorcerer um wait i already missed the welcome to the house of korax many have come for my skull and many have died you are welcome to try you must know you will fail all right some suitable tough talk from the level designer Alright, and you know, let's deal with these bozos. Green mana. Does this thing have unlimited ammo? I think it does, right? Yeah. Alright, cool. Whoa, jeez. Now my minions will destroy you. Okay, I, I definitely was I was destroyed. All right, now I got to play through this part again. Hey, kid, want my skull? Yeah, exactly. Hey. Hey, hey. Yeah, look at me. Always robe. Just running around. All right, so I died because I walked into that alcove, maybe? And there's also some scripting going on here, right? This should help. Okay, yeah, that's the... Now my enemies will destroy... Yeah, see, like, I just, I just die. I don't know what's... 
got a bad case of the deathquakes. Um, all right, let me grab this again. All right, so maybe I go this way this time. Yes. Clearly, that's what I was supposed to do. You have come too far. If you are smart, you will turn away. All right. You were warned, fool. And now what? I'm just looking at this centaur butt. Oh, that's right. These guys have the shields. Yeah, shattered. You have defeated one of my fighters. A weak one. Oh man, just throwing him under the bus there. You have angered me in your search. Your fate lies ahead. Ugh, not a fan of the first gen camera shake. All right, I hear some panthers, some angry panthers. Did something open up? Yes. Oh, that's right, it's these. Here's his skull. I wonder how I can get it. You will never get my skull. Now you will die. Wait. Now you will burn. You are forced to face my minions, foolish humans. Okay? Foolish human. Ah, crap. I fell. Because, yeah, Hexen has, uh, has death falls. Alright. I actually don't see the skull. I'm gonna be honest here. That's, that's a little too much. faced one of my best. Meet him at the brass door. Oh wait, no. I, I goofed. So wait, what is like the proper... Alright, you know, I'm just gonna try to like... but it's kind of a cheesy setup, if I'm reading it correctly. You have killed too many of my efforts, and you must face one of my... one of the best. Meet him at the brass door. Sounds like they're yelling yow like they're rock singers or something. I completely agree, yeah. They're sort of like, yeah. They're definitely... They're like, yeah! Hello, Cleveland! Yow! All right. Meet him at the brass door. It's a date. Okay, yeah, this is coming down. Oh yeah, what's this dork steal? My arc of death. Wait. Is this just 
locked forever now. Didn't miss my chance to go in there. Ugh. Yes, it is my fighter. I shall dispose of him, my master. That hurt. Don't do that. Yeah, this guy's pretty dodgy. going to do. It is safe. It is safe with me, mortal. Come to the top of the cave. I don't know what that means. To fight me for my skull. I mean, theoretically, any fight to the death is a fight for someone's skull. What traditional roguelikes do I enjoy? Um... Nothing that I play regularly. Um, the one that I've long admired, is, and I don't know how traditional it's considered, is Brogue. The one that, like, you know, just kind of has, like, pretty good, interesting generation and lots of cool colors. I like that one. Oh my god, what's going on here? Yeah, it's not a, it's not a style of game that I... Um, that I play regularly. Oh my gosh. And yeah, is this just closed now? Can I not get back in? Proceed, mortal. Yeah, I think this is closed. I think this uh, this level designer was unfortunately they used the power of ECS to just make unwinnable situations. This camera shape is just an absolute pain. Nope. Nope. Not cool. I am angry. Yeah, buddy. Uh, so are a lot of us. Where, where did he go? Oh, now you're in the useless the trench, huh? It looks as if I've killed my mage. Now you must face me, Korax the Almighty. All right. This guy's really building it up. You have a good wrestling intro or something? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Rogue is on Steam now. The old, uh, I guess it's the DOS port of Epix's... Uh, version from back in the day. Runs in DOSBox. Probably isn't that great of an experience, all told, but, you know, it's the classic, or it's unimplementation of the classic. Oh man, this is definitely setting off my bullcrap alarm. Alright, so the big bad is up there. Oh, 
our master awaits you mortal. Oh, okay, this isn't even the big bad. Alright, so I gotta, like, what, jump into the, uh... Jump into the hole? Okay. Come and fight me, coward. Sure. I'll take my time. Yeah, look at these metal plating textures. Pretty dope. Ha 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 ha. Oh my gosh, these frickin' earthquake screen shakes. They just, like, drain your health like nothing. I'm gonna die. Yeah, we'll see about that, buddy. You've earned your skull, but there are others. I accept this. So where's the skull? There it is. Alright. Yes, the skull. That's me talking to the player character. Give me my skull, human. And I will deliver you. What's going on? I don't know. Oh, it's just billions of these nerds. I gotta have some space to maneuver. Shouldn't be too tough. I just like having no idea what the best, what the ideal weapons for getting tactical situation and stuff like that in Hexen is. That is the Excuse me. Alright. Okay. I killed them. Alright, so what happens next? I have the skull. Oh yeah, look at that. Hmm. 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 I cannot use this here. I can just be secure in the knowledge that I have the skull. Oh yeah, is this like the little... Okay, right, it's the summonable mini minotaur. That is pretty dope. What does this do? It's like... Yeah, I actually have no memory of what that does. So what's like the way out of here? Oh wait, maybe this comes down? Thank you, human. Oh, right. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I installed the, the head. Thank you, human. Now I am a proud statue. Now you're a boy. Alright, are you going to smite me or what? What's going on here? My reward. Yes. You are free. That's my reward? I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, there we go. I would really love, like, when it's like, and now your reward, mortal, and you're expecting to, like, be betrayed or have another boss fight or something, but it's just, like, the Monkey Island end credits, like, turn off your computer and go do something. <laughs> go to sleep. <laughs> Learn to whistle, etc. 
Okay. All right. So yeah, that's uh, that's the end of that. With a scream of agony, you were wrenched from this world into another. Every part of your body wreathed in mystic fire. I think this is just the normal like hexen ending text, right? I'm pretty sure this is. Anybody who's like a hexen expert should feel free. Should. Is, in, is welcome to uh, to confirm whether this is the the default. And upon it, the only source of light in this world. It feels like it's a different style than the writing that we just saw. Up. Mm-hmm. Yep, that hexen. Dump, dump, dump. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm assuming that was the end. That was, uh, it says on here Ragnarok Doom, but then doesn't really refer to it as any, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe Ragnarok Doom is the official title and the name of the wad is just Hexron, as in Ranma's Hexen thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, there we go. That was, that was that Hexen thing. That wasn't terrible, you know, I enjoyed the chance to run around in Hexen. There were definitely multiple bugs there where you could get locked out of the way forward and stuff like that, but you know, it happens. Alright, let's play a new one. Mikuso Hanakuso by Mazuku. Mazuku. This is from 2000. February of 2000. Oh yeah, when was that last map from? Um, January of 1996. So yeah, Hexen would have been relatively new when that came out. So, you know. Um, Alright, this is a boom compatible level, I guess. Mikuso Hanakuso. I don't, I don't recognize this author's name. Don't know anything else about it. Looks like it is Doom 2 Map 1. Uh, and yeah, this is uh, that's a Japanese domain, so maybe this is a. Uh, I, you know, uh, I'm familiar as as many folks are with the the Japanese community project from uh, you know five or so years ago, um, and that was like Japanese Doom community folks putting together a, a pack that was really great. You know, just had some really standout stuff in it, um, and I had kind of always known that there had been a Japanese Doom community, but I didn't know how far back it went. I don't know if this author was just like one person just off on their own making stuff or if there was like a small community here that I'm just not very familiar with but uh, yeah let's check it out Makuso Hanakuso by Mazu Mazuku from February of 2000 uh, cool alright Some dark tunnels here. Okay, this is just it's just standard do to map one music. Cool take on a sewer. Sort of a half tech, half medieval sewer type situation. The water does not appear to damage me, that's good. Yeah, this all leads back to this small, dingy little room in here. Uh, where 
does this go? Is this where I started? Yeah, it is. So I came in through here. This is kind of a loop. take them on. Is this my only way out? It is not. Alright. Let's see how there's like a yellow key door there. Let's go around this way. Anyone have a translation for the title? I know next to no Japanese, but I know Kuso means shit, poop, crap, and the like. Okay, that's... I did not even know that, so that is good to know. And it might, that that might be like a colloquialism for sewer or something? I mean, this is a place of poop. No good deed is remembered here. We considered ourselves a powerful culture. Um, cool. Oh, jeez. Um, Nope. Don't want to deal with all this skulls. There we go. All right. I don't think they can open doors, so I'll just let them kill themselves out there. No, they can't open doors. Cool. did survive. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's some, that's some shotgun ammo. Alright, I have a little bit more of a fighting chance now. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. Finally got some, some bullets to good use. Alright, heck yeah. Teleported away. Oh, oh okay, yeah. Uh, eye poop, nose poop. <laughs> All right, that's an interesting. That's an interesting name. layout. Alright, yeah, so it's very tunnel-y. Very tunnel-ish. Um, wait, look, what's down at the end of this? Have I been here yet? No, I haven't.
Actually, doing a decent job of fighting revenants tonight. Not that they don't still punch me a bit, but. Oh, yeah, I got the red key. And yeah, we can tell that we're going to pop out there. Oh, is that like a conveyor for? Oh, yeah, that's right. The author mentioned that this requires room. The conveyors are a boom feature for sure. Okay, yeah, so this opens up. And then. Single file hallways. Oh, butts. Didn't save that. Okay, so yeah, we've got some notes in the chat on the possible, like, idiomatic translation of that, of the map's title. That's, that's cool. Always neat to have some, some cultural context there. Man, I'm not loving these, uh, So my turn a very difficult spot. The end of a long single file hallway. And yeah, here we go. We're riding that conveyor. And there's a crusher. Oh, jeez. No, I slipped off. the red key, so I guess maybe let's work our way back to that starting area. Okay. Surprise barons, or surprise hell knights. So, oh, yeah, yeah. There's some, some monsters creeping around on the other side here. Got a 
pressure gauntlet to run here. Hello. I'm just taking this real slow and conservatively because anything could slip me up and I only have seven health here. What did that do? That's actually kind of a good, like, tension thing, like... Do this gauntlet to, uh... Get to the end of something and then hit a switch and you're like, well, what did that, what did that do? I know that these bozos are going to be waiting for me, then. Yeah, like, this is an example of, like, this isn't a tough... This isn't a tough fight, okay. Fighting them through that 64 wide door is just just a bummer. Okay. Nope. Whole Hell Knight team here. All right, super shotgun. Thank you. We are in business now. Get some heal. Less live revenants this time. Again, we are down to one health. It's just the state that the level wants me to be in. Can these guys not fit through this doorway? Alright, so it's just gonna be peekaboo nonsense. Then. Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm gonna make the one hit point save, you know. Okay, and yeah, I guess that was it. And yeah, were there were there no secrets in that? Yeah, I guess not. And there were three monsters that I didn't find. But um, yeah, this was a decent little map, you know. Like it feels, you know, like it's it's definitely cramped in places. Um, that I don't think necessarily help it do anything interesting. Um, but yeah, it had some, you know, it had like, it went through different ideas and stuff. The backtracking was reasonably well done, like having this whole central area be a lot more dangerous the second time through with the Hell Knights. It definitely withheld the super shotgun to the point where, to, to make you really hungry for it. You know, that, that, that works. Um, but yeah. Yeah, not bad. Cool. All right. Well, that was Mikuso Hanakuso, which, as our chat informs us, is kind of like a pot calling the kettle black type expression or something. I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, let's see. We at 7.55. Um, yeah, should I play another one? 
I don't know. I'm gonna play a little bit of another one. You know, I'm just gonna. I just reserve the right to to gong out. Um, all right. So cross dot zip from from May of 1994. So this would have been only Doom level. Doom level editors would have only existed for about six weeks when this map came out. Uh, I would like to thank Id for developing such a great game. Matt Tagliateri, Tagliaferi for also writing a great editor, Doomcad, which I used to create this level. Also for replying to every one of my email messages promptly and politely. Uh, cool. All right. Cross.wad, Doom 1, uh, E3M5. Designed mostly to be a single player level in the style of House of Pain, but it does support deathmatch and co op play. No Hall of Mirrors that I'm aware of. Yeah, all right, this is a very early... Uh, okay, yeah, Terry Henning is the author here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, let's give it a shot. E3M5 cross.wad, back when you can have extremely simple noun.wad. Because nobody else had... Oh my gosh, this has 183 monsters in it, so... I'm probably not going to get through it. But yeah, you can see where it gets its namesake from straight away. Yeah, this is a this is a way back 94 map. Um, and yeah, this is like pretty cool and impressive in scale for a 94 map, you know? It doesn't look at all like sloppy. This is very like kind of, you know, clear cut, organized. And that is kind of an interesting shape there. So what is that? Yeah. All right, now we're going outside. Yeah, it's episode three, Hell Sky. Author said it was based on actual E3M5 House of Pain. I'm not seeing that similarity yet necessarily. It's kind of using tech-based textures, but you know, I mean, like the 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 ideas of like the specific texture sets and stuff are very much not. not fixed in those days, so, you know, just whatever. Oh, this is neat. This is a cool room. There's a big weird staircase going up. And is this like, is this a light feature? It feels like light is pouring in. Actually, it's a very confusing kind of lighting setup. But I'm into it, and I'm into like, all these, like, yeah, these curved staircases here. I don't know if that's something that this editor, that this author used, like, provided any help for or what, but uh, definitely not easy shapes to make work in very, very early doing the work. These, uh, these edges are thick enough here that it kind of doesn't give you a good, um, you know, it sort of occludes, you know, it's like I sort of want to be able to see what's down in there. So it is sort of primitive in that respect, at least. All right, so like, wait, have I been here yet? No, I've just mashed up against it several times. Okay, so what was that whole little adventure into the sideways cave about? Okay, so that's a way... Oh, look at that. There's the yellow key. What's going on here? All right, we got a fire blue area here. That's always fun. Oh, gosh. Now we're getting... Full brightness, fire blue area. Oh, and look, this is just like a balcony that we can see over but can't jump down from. What's going on with that? It's so just like the secret way back into the thing. <clears throat> yeah, I think I've I think I'm going everywhere that I can reasonably go, but I guess, yeah, now I can, uh... Yeah, 
this is definitely fun. Oh, look at that. That's a... That is a... That is an advanced trap for, uh... From May of 1994. That was good. Yeah, that was cool. I thought I was running down just, like, a normal-ass hallway, and then... Boom, it, like, sinks down in, like, the hell greeting and stuff. Is this gonna pop back open after 30 seconds? <laughs> yeah, the light goggles. I'm kind of tempted to just, like... Alright, there we go. I turned it off. You can't hurt you anymore. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming that this is going to open back up. No shoot walls. Yeah, this might just be a... Uh... Wait for it to come back open. Alright, and it looks like we're headed towards... The place that I could... Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, there is a way through, but you gotta... That was a little Scooby-Doo room. I just had to look for the... The one brick on the wall that was cell-painted, not... Background. Cool. Alright, and this... Now we're overlooking... That spot we saw before... Yeah, a little, little you know, grab the grab the mega sphere, grab the soul sphere, and the specter hatch pops open. This is all like, you know. Oh, and now I'm up here. Is that cool? Is it good to be up there? Oh, look, it's a little green dining room. It's little tables. imp mess hall here with different jib dishes. Big open area here. Yeah, I mean this is this is all like reasonably interesting for Fresh out of the oven, doom level editor. Putting on the boss machine. Could not have been an easy tool to wrestle with for making doom levels, so. So respect. And now we're in a skin hallway. Yeah, and these big shapes. Got like a curved hallway and like this pentagonal thing in the middle. key to get in there. Yeah, it really can't be... It can hardly be overstated the extent to which everybody was just kind of making everything up in these early days. Like, I remember... I remember playing, like, version one or so of uh, Dr. Sleep's Dante's Gate you know, and uh, Outpost 21, and a few other things, like, within the first half year of Doom, of user Doom levels being a thing. And, um, yeah, there was just this, you know, it felt like there, was, there, were, there, were, there wasn't a rule book yet, necessarily. I think people were definitely identifying best practices and just things that were good and stuff, but, um, I don't know, yeah. And, yeah, this isn't, like, you know, a brilliant work or anything, but, like, the author's really trying out some stuff here, you know? This is just so not the rectilinear, you know, room, hallway, room sort of snooze fest. It's just got all kinds of stuff going on. It looks like they're trying some something just completely off of normal rotation grid there. Um, well, cool. Uh, this is neat, but, yeah, I'm... I think I need to, uh, to call it a day, and, uh, Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and open up the whole thing and actually yeah, I'm an, I'm just gonna go ahead and cheat into I wanna go into this big pentagonal area because I suspect it's pretty cool. Yeah, look at this. It's like a big grand. I mean this kind of a thing was like sort of cooler than like anything that you saw in like 
E3 M8 or something. This feels like it's building up to a bigger fight than that actually was. Yeah, we got some nice pulsing red stuff here. And then, yeah, I guess the Cyber Demon you fight is in there. So, yeah, this is doing all kinds of neat stuff. Uh, oh, wait. Something somebody said. Is that an AT Walker on the left there? Oh, id rules. Very good call. Yeah, I wouldn't have spotted that. But yeah, like little id rules spelled out in sectors. Uh, man, yeah. Pretty cool map. Pretty cool map. Um, Cross dot wad. Uh, by Terry Henning, May 19th, 1994. Yeah, not bad. I, my, my hat is off to you. I don't know if this author ended up sticking with Doom, doing other stuff with it, but, uh, but yeah, cool. All right, well, that's all I've got for today. Um, thanks for, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, always a pleasure, and yeah, I will see you all next time. Until then, have a good week. All right, good night.